Welcome to Issue by Issue, the show where we break down individual issues brought forward by segments of the population. We attempt to remove political spin, legal language, or media framing that can cause a point of view to be unclear. We take complex wording and break them down so that you can see what people on each side are actually saying. Today's issue. The black community has complained for years about police brutality and injustice. For years it has gone unbelieved until everyone now carries a camera. There is body cam footage. Now everyone believe it is real. Diverse groups are complaining from left to right. The question is, what do they want? They want to defund the police. Defunding the police refers to the movement for diverting a significant amount of funding and responsibilities away from what we traditionally think about as a police department. This will have the default response to non-violent emergencies be handled by other specialized unarmed agencies. Example, a call about a mentally ill person will be handled by a specialized psychiatric team a call about traffic collisions will be also handled by unarmed professionals that are specialized to deal with traffic. Turns out only 10% of police dispatch are regarding to potentially violent situations. So this movement is calling for a 90% reduction in the dispatching and funding for traditionally armed officers as we know it. They claim that it only escalates crime scenes if an armed officer is present when that officer may not be needed. The defund movement also pointed to an example that was done in the drastic reduction of the police force in New York in 2015. This was done as a protest, however, it led to a reduction in crime. The defund movement sees this as a model that they would want to use all over. Claims of the left. One, we have tried reform and it doesn't work. The, the problem is things have not changed enough. I really, really hope that this is the time that people can manifest meaningful change. I, I, I hope that's true. And you know, watching what happened uh, in Minneapolis is incredible. That's a massive step for them to take. And it, it, it hopefully will inspire other people that... I mean, I can't speak for every department, of course, but the system's flaw. The system was created on a terrible premise. There you go. So how do you really fix it if you're always just trying to amend something that started Two. out as terrible? We don't need men with guns to handle every case. The majority of police calls do not go to major crimes like these. They do not. They do not. They sit in speed traps. They patrol poor neighborhoods looking for suspicious looking people. They show up at domestic dispute. They interfere in problems that would be better resolved by a social worker. Can you think for a second? Mental health checks are done by the police. Can you explain to me why a mental health checks are done by the police? Can you explain to me if, wh why exactly, if a homeless person is acting off their rocker or a person's freaking out and threatening suicide, why do 10 cops show up? What about two social workers and one cop? now the police do a lot of jobs that aren't necessarily policing correct for example like if there's a homeless people doing something wrong right the police will be sent there instead of maybe like a counselor that might be better equipped with how to deal with a crazy person and they can help Three. them out police can only stem crime but community outreach can get to the roots
not give our communities the resources that they actually need for mental health care, for relief for COVID, from the things that would actually keep us safe, not cops. We're calling for defunding the police. So I think it's just looking at it. It's not saying we're going to do away with policing. It's saying we're going to look at the budgets and make sure that uh, money is being allocated properly. And I don't think that any agency should be upset if uh, our community and taxpayers, so we just want to look and make sure the money is being uh, US. allocated Scaling properly. back would mean smaller budgets where access funds are allocated back to community programs like affordable housing and public health. This is a response from the right. One, this is absolutely ridiculous. I've been talking about how defunding the police is the dumbest thing you could ever do for a couple of years now, and I guess I should just go over it right now because it's trending. Also, the mayor of Los Angeles has already taken $150 million worth of funding from the LAPD. Boy, that's gonna work out for them. To defund our police across this country, it is extraordinary. And when you think the left has gone far and they couldn't possibly go farther, because we all remember the defund ICE movement, they wanna def defund immigration and custom enforcement, and now they wanna defund the police. This is now, extraordinary. This right here is nonsense. I don't know what these people's thinking is nonsense. They really need to stop it and they need to reestablish law and order. This, this, this is ridiculous. Defund the police? I wonder how many crimes the police have stopped just by their presence in an area. Two, the police don't need to be defunded. The police need more funds. Well, what is money used for in a police department? <gasps> Training. It's such a fucking redundancy seeing people say defund the police while at the same time saying, we need better police officers. It doesn't work that way, kids. But let me ask you this question. If we need more training, where do you expect that money to come from? Training costs money. Question. If we defund the police, first of all, where's the money gonna come from to put in, invest into back, doing backgrounds on these police officers? Secondly, if we defund the police and somebody only makes, an officer only makes $15 an hour to put his life on the line, do you really think that we're gonna get the best qualified applicants to go into a profession where they're really not gonna get paid much in order to go out and put their life on the line to save you? Three, Next. the role of the police is irreplaceable and cannot be done by anyone else. Increased gang violence, potential terrorism, uh, the, the, the threat of, of, of organized crime exploding. I'm talking about other things that I don't think they're taking into account either. What about all the drug overdoses from the complete lack of enforcement on drug laws? I mean, what are you going to do about DWIs, Maria? Has anybody thought of who's going to pull people over when you dial 911 and say there's a guy weaving in and out of traffic? Who, a social worker? Listen, I love social workers. It's not a knock on social workers. That's not their job. They're not law enforcement. Has anybody thought this through? Now, I just gave you the dramatic example that's true, that people will die, but even on the low end, what else is going to, what are you going to do about turnstiles on the subway? Who's going to pay a fare? Why would you? Why wouldn't you just walk into the CVS yeah. or the Walgreens and just steal something? What is, I mean, really, is anybody, th this is so absurd, I can't believe we're even talking about it. When you have a guy who thinks he's Jesus and a knife in his hand and he's naked running down the street, you don't need to call a, a, a mental health counselor. You need to call the police. And if I heard him right, uh, he, he, he mentioned domestic violence as an area where we don't need the police. Martha, that is the most dangerous cop call that cops go on. And I'm in a state that leads the country in men killing women. So, no, w we don't need counseling. We need the cops to come arrest the perpetrator and take him to jail so she has a chance to live. So w when I hear defund the police, who in the world is going to do the jobs that police do now? Who's going to process crime scenes? Who's going to arrest people? Security is our prime ingredient for our society. Ultimately, we need the police force. Policing is an extremely difficult and sometimes unrewarding job. They secure our wares, protect our lives, and if they are really good at their job, then all their work will be unnoticed. That is, until they are gone. Ultimately, the police is like a hammer in our toolkit. We are always tempted to overuse it. But should we try offloading some responsibilities from the police force? That's the issue. Thanks.